Aloha. Good evening. Oh, am I in focus? Okay. Let me go find my spot. All right, so I figured I'd do this video. Um, I haven't had a chance during the day to really just sit down in front of the camera aside from the, the vlogging and, um, and talk about me or what's going on with me or how's, how's this journey been doing. So I wanted to do this video with you guys of um, what I'm having for dinner. Eat with me kind of thing of, uh, hey, let's have dinner. Okay, if you're having breakfast or lunch, let's eat together and chat for a bit. Uh, I kind of want to do something on my channel of like maybe, I don't know, maybe once a week of just sitting down and discussing, um, especially now that I'm doing this 30-day challenge of my um, transformation of healthier living, um, being more self-aware of my life, uh, conscious living, um, I think what I called it. It's just basically, I don't want to say that I'm on a diet, even though I am. I don't want to say I'm on a diet because I know the diet doesn't work. I've been, I've been doing this, so I'm going to eat. I'm going to do, I've been doing the diet thing, I'm like 40, since maybe 16, 17, for what, like 25 years, and I'm still here. So diet does not work. Um, but I figured... If I call it something else, or if it is something else, instead of like, okay, I'm on a diet for 30 days, let's see how, how far it'll go. It's more of not just a diet, it, it's not the food. I don't want it to be about the food. I want it to be about my life. Uh, where I am, at, you know, where I am at the age that I'm in, um, where I am with the age of my children, where I am within my marriage, uh, where I am because of my home. Um, because of your home, it, it does make a difference. Are you well established in your home? Have you lived there for 20 years or 25? Or are you in an apartment or a condo to where you're just staying there um, for six months, a year, two or three? Or did you just recently move like our situation here to this house and there's a lot of fix ups? Um, that plays a lot to me, I feel that how your life is. But <clears throat> for instance today, I showed you guys the vlog and I'll still upload that. But I'm like, you know what, I really, I'm craving like some good food. So the family had McDonald's, I did not touch it. That's me being conscious, that's me being aware, that's me wanting a healthier living. So then I opt for the sub of the day, but I asked for um, extra, extra veggies, like extra pickles, oh no I didn't do pickles, extra tomato, extra uh, spinach, extra lettuce, extra onions, bell peppers, and and then the meat. And then I did have the cheese, pepper jack cheese in there, salt and pepper, and then um, easy mayo, easy mustard. I gotta have, I gotta have flavor in my sandwich, <laughs> okay? But instead of buying the combo with the soda and chips, I'm having it with my orange that I bought today, and then this is just water my Starbucks um, tumbler. So, how are you guys? And this is a time for me to also reflect and say, um, slow down, okay? So this is us eating. So what are you guys eating? Share, tell me. Um, I want you guys to, you know, to, to join me like we're having lunch or dinner together at a bistro some wine mm. or else Starbucks coffee love me my Starbucks I'm a very um I told him put extra mustard because I figured mustard doesn't require a lot of calories I've never really counted calories this is why I am where I am um I never looked at the label I never said um thought um like Oh, how many carbs? I never counted carbs. No, like, I don't know how to count. Like, I can't, I can't be in those, like, Weight Watchers where you have to count. I don't, I don't know how to count. I've never lived like that. Again, this is why I am where I am. <laughs> but I don't, okay, so when I look at myself, am I happy with my weight? No. But, ooh, I'm going to eat with you guys. See, lots of, um, this is Thursday. I love um subway 
sub of the day. So this is the Thursday. I think it's called BMT and I'm cheap. Um, so I just got that. But I got extra like veggies and stuff and lots of mustard. Easy mayo but lots of mustard. So here we go. I'm going to take a bite. Don't judge me. I may talk with my mouth full. Mmm. So good. But I never count calories. I just, I just ate. But how I see myself, I don't really see myself. Like I always say to hubby or the kids or like when I'm vlogging, I'm like, because I'm so fat. But when I'm looking at myself, I'm not like, I don't feel or I don't see myself in a negative thing saying like, I'm so fat. I just want to be healthy. Like I want to wake up energized. Which I have been, you know, really. I want, I want to be able to put on clothes without thinking, I'm like, oh, this doesn't fit. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a size up. I haven't bought clothes since feeling this way. But um, I don't want to buy a size up. That's my thing, I don't want to. <laughs> um. I have clothes in my closet that I bought at Forever 21. Roxy, um, Charlotte Russe, mm, Macy's, um, Macy's, but not in the women's aisle. <laughs> like this is a Roxy. I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to be my age. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't want to go there yet. So, I want to be able to buy clothes that fits my personality. Like, I don't know, like happy clothes. Not no, okay. You're almost 50, so you shouldn't be wearing that. I think, like, whatever your age is, you can be 50, 60, 70. You should wear the clothes that make you feel happy. Okay? So, oh, these kind of clothes, like, make me happy. Not no, um, not no high-rise uh, Vanderbilt. Is that what the, the brand is? I'm sorry. not trying to be judgmental but that's my goal like that's me being true to myself um i think you just got to be true to yourself whatever your journey is whether you need to gain weight or lose weight or work on a bad habit maybe you smoke and you just, you've been smoking for many years and you just want to be like, I, I want to live longer, so I want to quit. Whatever it may be, whatever your journey is, whatever your body transformation is for your mind, body, and soul. I want you guys to, um, just to ask yourself, how do I want to make myself happy? So to me, eating healthier, not, I'm not, I'm not going to be on a diet to where I just eat salads. I can't do that. I like my carbs, I like my rice with my patis or soy sauce and tomatoes and put my feet up and enjoy my crabs because crabbing season is coming. But whatever your journey is, friends, just find some ways to make you happy. Um, so now we're eating together. So I want you guys to reflect on that. What do you want to work on? Do you want to be a better public speaker? And you've been like really scared of public speaking all this time. So work on that. Practice with me. Yeah, while I'm eating. I'll listen. Go ahead. Mmm, so good. Mmm. That was really good. See, you just need practice. So with me, day six now, 
Tomorrow will be a week. So let's talk about that. How I have been doing it, I'm proud of myself. It's not 100% perfect, and that's life. Shouldn't be 100% perfect, but I will tell you from day one all the way to today, even though I'm eating a Subway, even though I had cheese, even though I had mayo, I'm proud of every single day since day one so far. Even, even with our anniversary date of the apple something, apple pancake, even the day before, two days before that of the portobello mushroom, because I was consciously aware of those two different days, so then I worked harder the next day to make up for that. I have not had a chip or um, my Cadbury eggs, not yet, because why? I gotta make up for all those times that I didn't do so good. Mm. Next time, not so much mustard when I'm talking with you guys. I love it, but it's kind of dripping all over the place. So, anybody out there that's doing this with me, bestie, you better comment. Tell me how you're doing. Mm. Kind of weird for me to do a film with you guys of while I'm eating. I hope you guys are just not staring at me because my mouth will be opening. I'll be like ugly view, but this is just one-on-one -on -one with us together. Mmm. Lots of mustard. Mmm. I used to hate mustard. I used to hate mustard. I used to hate um, sour cream. I used to hate cottage cheese. Mmm. And now, as a grown-up, I love them. I wasn't so active today, but I woke up like really well rested. I've been editing my videos. Um, I have a schedule now, like I'm, I'm starting to have a schedule, which is good. That's what I really wanted. So I wake up at 530, which I used to do, and then I couldn't wait until the, the girls would get on the, bu the bus so I can go back to sleep and nap, and then I would wake up at 11 or 12, and sometimes one. It wasn't good friends it wasn't a healthy lifestyle to be able to do that because one I was so tired in the morning but then I knew that I had to do all these activities with the kids later on in the late afternoon so I needed my nap but then my whole day was like out I slept through the whole day but today I woke up at 5 30 um, helped Danny and then painted from 8 30 all the way to 2 o'clock and then rested with Danica and then took um, Danny to Hula and then walked while Danny was in Hula and I walked for the whole entire time that I dropped her off for like an hour. Mm, so good. Yes, I didn't run. But I didn't have my proper attire. Note to self, ladies, if you're going to go into this journey with me, yes, let's do it together. Come on, I just started. You guys can catch up. Um, and if you're able to, because I understand, you know, we all work. I work. I just do my work at home. But <clears throat> if you're able to, and if you're able to dress like you're working out, then do it. You know, like everybody's saying, oh yeah, she's always working those yoga pants. Oh, she's always wearing those yoga pants. So what? Maybe I want to wear yoga pants all day because I only have little increments during the day to be able to work out and I want to be prepared for it. That's my excuse. That's my reasoning why I wear yoga pants all day, every day. I've come to the point of my age, my my years of experience in life. I don't care what anybody says. 
I only answer to a few people. God, myself, my husband, my kids, my family, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Of course, your parents are there and, and stuff like that, your immediate family. Mmm. Mustard so good. But people judging you, like if you go to the store, like looking at you like, girl, why are you wearing that? I know you didn't work out today. Who cares? If wearing yoga pants, workout gear, all day, if you're able, because you're not going to work, will enable you to have a more active lifestyle throughout that day, not knowing when that opportunity may rise, go for it. I'm, I don't bother with negative comments on YouTube. I'm so thankful though. 95% of you guys are so nice. Hmm. There are those maybe 3%, maybe 97% you guys. I've always been blessed to have good supporters here on YouTube. There is just that 3% to where like somebody commented, I'm gonna share it with you guys, somebody commented. She's, somebody said, I think I left it up to, or maybe I deleted it. I like to, I don't get a lot of negative comments, but if it's negative, I don't like to feed negativity I don't but sometimes I'll answer once and I'm like really somebody said oh you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong why don't you ask your husband and it was a guy that said why don't you ask your husband to do it and then he'll teach you because you don't need to shake it and I'm like wow I just wanted to I just wanted so bad to be like first of all it's not a regular thing to wear because I don't want you guys searching it because you will stop it don't do it um, you guys are gonna search it huh okay go ahead well I'm like, it's not a regular thing that you do it's a special thing to where yes you're supposed to swirl it to get that look he goes Oh, now you did it right. You should, you probably ask your husband. Next time, just ask your husband. Women, shaking my head. What? Those kind of people just go above my head, over my head. You can't fix those people. They're the same kind of people when you're on Facebook. And it's not like your friends, like, you know, like when you belong to like, um, a, a, like I belong to a lot of craft group or food group. This is why I'm where I am. I don't know. I like looking at recipes, but somebody will comment something and then it just feeds on and then on and on and on. And they just get a rise out of people arguing with them. You don't need those people. Really. I have a timer. Where's my... Because I don't want to go overboard. Oh, okay. Well, I'm almost done with my sandwich. Mmm. Well, I'm not really full, but... This is my snack or dessert. If I wanted it. So if I'm, I'm really full. I mean, I ate a whole six inch. I usually have hubby get a couple bites. But, hmm. I like where I am with the day six of my journey of one, being more aware of what I eat having more of a choice rather than just like being a robot like okay yeah I'll get the soda and the chips because it comes with it that's what it says right there on the menu soda or chips being more aware not to follow that path or that rule or that normal um, being more um, consciously active and be like okay well you know what 
I don't like the gym. I hate the gym, guys. I hate the gym. I hate the treadmill. I'm an outdoors person. I, I want to smell like today, like I smelled the fresh air. It smelled so good. Breathe it in. Looking at the scenery. I love looking at yards. I love looking at trees. I love the spring. I love looking at yards or homes or windows or shapes of houses or people passing by. You know, then be outside. Walk. If you're able to, if it's not snowing, because over here I cannot walk when it's snowing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I hope you guys like this sit down and chat with me, eat with me. Just one on one. You and me. No one else. Just us eating together. Maybe breakfast. Maybe I'll do a breakfast one. Hmm. And not necessarily super healthy of like, hey, this is a zero calorie food. No, I need, I need calories. I love food. This is why I am where I am. But because I love food, I just want to be more aware of what I eat. This is, um, I, this is my second Starbucks um, drink for the day. So I filled it up the first time. And then now it's filled up. I'm going to drink this, all of it, before I go to bed. And it's warm water. I've been drinking a lot of warm water. With just a little drizzle of lemon. Alright, friends. I hope you guys had a good meal with me. If you guys like this, let me know. I will surely do more. And I want to do a video tonight. Because I have been busy during the day. That I haven't had a really time to just sit down. I want to do a Scentsy video because I'm really behind on that. I'm sorry, team. My team is doing so good. I'm so proud of you guys. I am so proud. I have one new, new recruit that's about to get promoted to her um, next title. Super excited for you. All right, friends. Until next time. Mahalo.